We're here in the Wild West today because we're discussing narrative worlds. Yeah! Okay, one way to think of narrative is to simply think story. So, what's the story here then? Well, the big question is, how do narratives capture the magic world? That's why you've got the lasso. Yeah, partner! I'm gonna capture me in a magic world. And the key learnings are... Understanding narratives means understanding the events of the story and the way the story is told. Narratives rely on setting and character to make the events relevant to the reader. Successful writers alter their narrative voice depending upon audience and purpose. Narrative has changed over time and continues to evolve to connect with new audiences. Narrative is a story containing events or experiences, real or imagined, and narratives have existed for as long as there have been people. Which explains why we're dressed like this. Yes. Things that happen in a narrative are the what of a story, but the setting for a narrative can both be the where or the how of a story. Now, when a setting is detailed enough, Readers will lose a sense of themselves as they truly begin to inhabit the world of the story. Oh, I ain't gonna happen with this settings. Let's get out of here then. Yes. Lots of horror stories are set in isolated places at night. With thunder and lightning. Shall we move on? Yes. And lots of teen comedies are set in high schools. Where and when a story is set can tell you a lot about what's going to happen, but it's the characters that make a story interesting. Solid and detailed characterisation can make a character come alive. Readers don't have to like all the characters, but it should be clear what kind of person they are. Characters are often defined by the things they do, that is their actions. <laughs> Okay, stop. Just stop trying to kill me. But I love killing. And they're also defined by the things they say. I'm sorry. How can I possibly make it up to you? Uh, characters' actions and reactions determine the way the story plays out. And this story just got a whole lot better. One important aspect of narrative is the perspective or point of view from which the story is being told. The most common point of view in narrative is third person. A third person narrator is not a part of the story and uses words such as he, she or they. For example, he kicked the ball straight into the goal. Another perspective from which to tell a story is the first person. Now, a first-person narrator is part of the story and uses words such as I, me, we and us. When writing in first person, the reader can get right into the innermost thoughts of the narrator. I kicked a goal and I knew that I was the hero of the day and I would be adored, cheered and loved by thousands of screaming fans. Oh, no. Ha ha. The future of storytelling seems to be digital, with text incorporating a combination of written language, audio, visuals, interactive elements and hyperlinks, just like Inanimate Alice. Inanimate Alice is a great example of where storytelling is going. So check it out online yourself. And that's about all we can squeeze in today. Do you know why? Why? Because I'm late, I'm late for a very important day. Wardrobe, get me out of this!